Hi guys, it's me Missy, I'm back, and today I'm going to be playing some more, well, I'm not going to be playing some more Witcher 3, Witcher 3 is done. What I meant to say was I'm going to be playing Control, which I know absolutely nothing about this game, but I'm super excited to find out. Anyway, I guess with that, let's get to the game. Phones. English, audio, English. Yes, please. I want subtitles. Let's go then. No idea. I have no idea about anything with this game, but I'm super excited. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times, it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. Federal Bureau of Control. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? Nice game intro. What the fuck is going on? Prohibited items reminder. Certain objects are not allowed inside the bureau recently. Incidents have necessitated an, necessitated an issue, issued reminder of pro, on prohibited materials, unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices. Anything smart. Number two pencils. What the fuck? Why is the number two pencil prohibited? Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetype concept. Rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. Huh? All material under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrance. Entrances, if you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. 
What the hell is going on? Respondices, case files, multimedia, research, missions. Do you not have any board count measures? Do you not have any missions? Assets. Nothing. Loadout. Nothing. Okay. Holy. Guacamole. Don't do that. I didn't like that. I'm just getting spooky vibes right now and I don't like it. Why is this whole place empty? Why is that door closing on me? I can zoom! What's this say? Internal lockdown in effect. Building lockdown in effect. Okay, what am I uh, supposed to be seeing something here? No, it's just a magically opening door. Okay. I don't like how quiet this building is. Thank you for the heart attack. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. That's probably not a good thing. I'm assuming, you know, just assuming, just making assumptions. Collectibles. Research and records. Bureau of expenditures. Staffing, surveillance, data center, and uh, initiative, construction. Three redacted. Official equipment, janitorial costs, redacted. Mold removal. Mold removal. Ew. HQ, livability costs for cost breakdown, spreadsheet, see page five. Five-year comparison chart. See page nine. Okay, then. Hmm. Why am I running? Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Why is it, like, empty? If they're on lockdown, wouldn't there be other people here, like, in their offices? Hiding? Something? I don't know. Correspondences. Security order redacted. A shark in his redacted, although secure. Redacted. Permission to redacted following basic protocol redacted. Shoot to kill redacted. Good luck. Interesting. Thanks for that useless ish bits of information that I can't piece together currently. I'm on a table. Cool. How much you want to bet something's going to pop out and spook me? I... I don't wanna... I don't really wanna... I am... I'm good, thanks. Strange Collector. Who the fuck is singing? R4 reports... Reminder, hello, you were... As you... Should all know by now that R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them for a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R4.e for your from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4 is a mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head. Dr. Darling, Ms. Mar Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. I don't want to go towards a strange voice. That sounds like a stupid idea. Do I have to go towards a strange voice? Of course I do. Like, why not? Hello? Weren't you in the painting? 
Hold on a second, bear bro. Take two seconds. Two seconds. Let me just run around like a nut. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You want to hear about the job? Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor, by the way. You'll work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they die. Elevent. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hollowed. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Marty the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. I mean, I agree with you, but also, uh, the, I'm more freaked out about the building and not exactly the man himself. I have questions and, uh, concerns, you know, about this whole situation. Please don't, like, follow me or kill me or dismember me or any- anything of the like. I was just fucking here. I was just fucking here. There's a painting missing. There's a painting missing. What the fuck is happening? Don't get smushed by the elevator. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. Okay. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Me or someone else? That's a cool setup. I really like. game Thank you. Cool title card. Did I lose you there for a moment? Yeah. You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 okay. years since the men of this bureau took him. We're okay. starting from the top. So nothing. That's unlocked. Let's take a look. Mission. Welcome to the oldest house. Proceed deeper into the bureau. Jesse Faden arrives at the oldest house, the headquarters of the Federal Bureau of Control, to look for answers to the mysteries of her childhood. Oh, Kidoki. Cool. I picked up a paper, and it, I, it says, did I do that? It says that there is no paper. Okay. 
Can't go that way. Anything? Nothing? Let's look at the other side, because I'm a curious kitty cat, and I'm going to probably get killed for my curiosity, but... You know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Hmm, that's cool. Correspondences. Non-official. Trench, do not disturb. Barbara, I am not in... Not to be disturbed, cancel all my appointments for the day, for the rest of the week. I don't trust them, Barbara, not a single one. Trench. Okay, who's Trench? Ah! Do I gotta? That seems like a stupid idea. Central executive. Okie dokie. Shit. He shot himself. Shit, shit. Man, you want yeah. me to pick it up? Man. The murder weapon? Really? Who the fuck are you talking to? Before I touch outside. anything. Oh, coming here a mistake. Probably. It seems like it. Hi, dude. I'm sorry I'm standing on your body. I apologize. I know. Disrespect for the dead. I'm sorry, bud. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Oh, look at this place. Where am I? File reports and instructions to complete the astral plane challenge. What the fuck? Jump. I can jump, I can run. Bubblegum. All, none of the above. These are the concept tattoos we see in our mind. Okay. V for melee, what? Okay, cool. I'm more powerful than I thought I was. Control the gun house. Choose to be chosen. Achievement unlocked. Nice gun, ma'am. Okay. Now I have a gun. Fire service weapon. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, so it loads. Nice. Do I have to go down there? Is that like a requirement? It looks like death.
Oops. You, we wield the gun, you. Strange collections. Eight. Achievement unlocked. Record keeper. Achievement progress, okay. Something's coming. Whatever. Eh. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. Yeah, you know it what? is. I'm happy. Happy to be here. Are you sure about that? Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Sit further into the bureau. Oh, fucking. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. You can't let this happen. 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 You um. stopped it. <laughs> you... Oh, thank you. That was... Horror. Oh, goody. Oh, shit. Let's go collect some health. Okay, can't do that. I saw something for a second. I didn't, apparently. I mean, there's this. No, I can't. Okay, I'm dead then. <laughs> yep, dead. Okay. That's fine. Let's try it again. Without the sporadic running this time. Okay, so I was right. Keep moving. Less damage. I'm at full health too. Okay, cool. That's so annoying. I see them now. Guide us. Reach the hotline. The hotline. Says the man. Okay. 
I can't shoot them when they're okay. in the air. Good God. Good. Where are you, dude? the fuck reminder if you experience an unanticipated building shift follow these simple steps one search the room for any altered items or objects of power two carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room three wait for bureau staff to find you and the object if there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. Okay then, that's great. Would you shut up? Anybody in here? No? So you guys talk. Weapons efficiency mod. Assets, materials, corrupt conceptual material, and identified reading. Director Trench's photo. Service weapon objects form is variable. Unbound, the object allows. Uh, Predator utilitarianism to the blank. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of blank. The object will determine whether. Uh, da, da, da. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. The process is dedicated by blank through their criteria, though the, their criteria is unknown. Background The object was discovered within the oldest house in the room that is now at, as the director's office. The popular hypothesis, many. Formed throughout history, blank, uh, uh, Mjolnir, Excalibur, whatever, all weapons in, of their wielders. If the objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, and this may be the original manifestation of that event. If this is the case, see Dr. Dr. Darling presentation 11.1 .1 for more details. Okay. Multimedia. Minor building ships, shifts, objects of power. I'm hesitant to go over here, but curiosity. Okay. 
more collectibles. Dinner reservations. Dinner res reservations at 7 p.m. at uh, whatever. Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at the library reception. Remember, she is turning 46. Director's office. Assuming I can't go here. Shelter maximum occupancy six persons. Can I close that? Yeah, I'd like to close this for just a second, please. Thank you. Marshall, I definitely investigation. Marshall, we checked out this suspected and Dula, Dulis wasn't anything just like the house fire before this and the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort out the fake AWEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch next on the list. Let's hope a little livelier than there. Sincerely, Agent Keenum. Okay, cool. Okay. Let's hope there's nobody on the other side of this door, please. Is okay, I assume. Central executive. I don't like the color. Okay, who wants to drop hissing down? Sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Well, we'll just leave that playing then. And it's silent. Visitor evaluations, how to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. Sure. Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and serve people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How would you find this place? If, this an if these answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. The answer seems blank. Escort them to private room. There perform the gunner's psychological ass assessment. If their response is within the exact range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then blank immediately. Remember, there is no such thing as too suspicious. Oh, goody. Yeah. Urban legends. Summary. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials. We can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world events. Urban legends are understood as the modern equivalent, not equivalent, of evolution of Jung's archetypes. Jung? Jung's? Whatever. We recognize certain blank informed by our own blank and popularized by our media. We then, we have, adi we have additionally proven that urban legends can even be of artificially made Anthology, artificially blank in popular culture using blank. Our bureau made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination 
Uh, extirbates the details. Okay. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of populist folklore. Oz, I think that's how you say it, that only occur on blank, a pair of scissors that consume you in blank through two punctures of the blank. These details living in the minds of so many have been given strength through belief. A pair of scissors, what? Urban legends are not just stories for children, they are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Okie dokie. go down there. That looks spooky. Great. I don't think I can do much else with this area. Hold on. Oh, great googly moogly. Come on, run, 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 girl. Come on, girl. Nope. And I'm dead. Okay, that's fine. I'll get better at this eventually, I promise. Watch out for grenade warning indicator, you shift sprint to escape the blast. Okay. sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss. Burrowing and... Let me just check something. To everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright. Yes. It's our enemy. Shit. Okay, let's do another loop de loop, girl. Big boy. Sir, please. Uh, 
Okay, let's try this again. A hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything yeah. in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright, it's our. Okay, come on, lady. Everybody else dead? Yes? No? Maybe so? Run! Keep running. An enemy corrupts spreading. Friends, the control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. Holy shit. You did it. We did it. Okay. Are you still sane? Hold on, one second. Assets. Hidden memory. Hidden trend. House of memory. Undefined reading. Ammo efficiency. Wait, rate of fire boosted, plus 12, what's this? Minus 7%, I like that more, I think. Plus 20. I want more health recovery. Thank you very much. Yeah, Please, I'm sane. Talk to me. Ish, I, I can't guess. Tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. <laughs> That's relative. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director. Hold on, we're coming out. What? Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss. That works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in <laughs> full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Yeah, I noticed. It is a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. 
It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point. Push the hiss out. The whole hi, Shellbug, and hi, Shellbug's grandma. I'm and glad you love me. I was already in the lockdown before you became the new director. How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Yeah, like, I do. Do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Okay, cool. I'll do that in one second. I want to find stuff. Okay, more research. Uh, control points. Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmoniza harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the blank arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. Okay, cool. These control points are discovered by blank. Detection of an unobstructed ping using blank within a three to seven foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve, nerve junctions or blank or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology can be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be blank. Okie dokie. One second, guys. Okay, anything else here? No? Cool. Uh, let's cleanse this person? Are they alive or are they dead? Oh no, they just melted into the floor. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Great. Um, Miss Pope? We need to make a plan, Jesse. Miss Pope, I have problem. Hi. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. Your hometown's called Ordinary? The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones. 
and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my oh, well, thank stop. you. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Okay. to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door oh, to the comms department uh... is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow... Shh. The hotline should be in the communications department. Okay, let me ask these questions so I can get them off my chest. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. Okay, oldest house. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Uh, Director Trench. This Trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, 
Maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Okay, objects of power. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she know this? But we'll just say Got yes. It. Thanks. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Okay then, that's all my questions. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just bye let bye. me know. Thanks for the help. Actually, I guess I should walk around real quick, double check everything. Like, what is this? Okay. Collectibles. Portrait of Zacharias Trench. Zachariah Trench. The person you should fail is yourself. Hmm. Unknown caller. Emily instructs Jesse to find the hotline and object of power in the form of, of an old telephone to understand the message from the dead director trying to communicate with her. They hope he can provide insight on the hiss invasion. And my loadout. I think my loadout is fine and dandy. Go over that way in a second. Let me just look around. An old jukebox. What's with the jukebox? I wanna know! Tell me, please! Give me the answer! Okay. Can't go in there either. Don't let mold hit your ride. Is that a stapler or an altered item? Cute. What's up here? Okay, so this is where I've been. Spooky elevator. Boardroom, shelter. here real quickly like because there's this apparently energy recovery what's in here 
anything important, eh? The answer seems to be a no. Oop, there's a file. Welcome to the oldest house, achievement unlocked. Shift to bathroom, complaint. Listen, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in this in the Islamabad uh, station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. Oh god, man. Oh god. Honestly, I know your pain. Very well do I know your pain. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Oh no, it's just the radio. Thank you for the creepy music. It's appreciated. What's this? I feel like I'm saying that every five seconds. Research records. Technological restrictions. Somewhere the old house um, imposes complete limitations on our bureau, but by far the most certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use search and not tech non logical equipment. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit playing signal or radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even those are often unreliable. If the power of collective unconscious is taken into account, it could be certain that pieces of technology are too new in the culture. For the oldest house to blank them. Similarly, these items have not known been known to become receptacles for altered status. Technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the blank to occur. Modern technology trends tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Ooh. Blank agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. That sucks. Damn. Anything else I should know before I run away? Could I just shoot the glass and like, leave? Like, get in there just by shooting the glass? Ah, so it's not a connective room. That's kinda sad. Thank you for whatever this is. Y'all are creepy. Can you shut up? Okay, I'm done. I'll move on now, I promise. Okie dokie, let's go. There it is again. Our welcome message. Shadow? Shatter projectile choke. Energy recovery speed, health recovery, boost health. I need level one clearance. Seriously. This probably ain't good. Hey, my dude. Oh, great. 
Okay, let's clear this area out first. Thanks, guys. Okay, can you can you calm down a little bit, guys? Just a teensy weensy bit. Travel costs. Oh shit. Visit in the following Nevada accommodations, Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, In and Out, Aztec Court, Sleepy Bear, Motel, Silver Spurs, Ranch, El Gato, Blanco Inn, A Plus Lodge. Accommodations $831.29, meal $714.84, gasoline. Two hundred and ninety-five dollars twelve cents. Oh lovely. Mini mini bar. Okay, dude. Or madam. Three hundred and thirteen dollars and sixty-one cents for the mini bar. Okay. I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state. Is going to be found in a landlocked state. But hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Riley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road, Agent L. Hines. The boys in research said, prefer, said prefer, performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking these, those little whiskeys is my ritual. Huh, okay, dude. Material, house memory. Would y'all shut up? Thank you for being creepy. I know, I hear you. You're very angry. He did. Where are you? There- what? Where are you? There you are. That's enough! hate the noises. Let's go below real quick, huh? This is why you check bathrooms. Unstable area notice due to recent fluctuations in the air's control point. This area's stability has been degraded to yellow. Reference current green equals stable. Yellow low. Possibility of unanticipated building shifts. Orange. High likelihood of unanticipated Un unanticipated building shifts. Red, frequent unanticipated building shifts. Okay. Thanks for the info. Communicate this department. Energy boost mod. Over here. Oh, okay, so this is the other door. Go this way real quick. Maybe not. Maybe I'll take the other red thing.
Um, I'll wait. Here doesn't look like it other than this. Yes, it's overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. Okay, cool. Good to know. And I was going the right direction. I'll probably die. Dead letters. I don't like this. Could you all calm down? I was just trying to explore. Okay, you dick. Of course he has shield! I have card on me. Okay. I still alive. And I'm dead. Okay. Let's try that again. I survived longer than I expected to. <laughs> back. It was this way, wasn't it? It was this way. There it is again. A welcome message. My pearls put yellow and red in the eye. Throw mirror inverted is made right. Leave your insides by the door. Push the fingers to the surface into the wet. You're always whatever. We stand around you while you dream. Stop it. Sorry, cart. Little guys, give me your shit. That's why. And I'm dead. 
that again. Okay. Well, at least I got it down to just the big guy. Again, a welcome message. He dead. Now it's just the little guys I gotta worry about. Hey, we boppies. There we are. Look at that. I gotta hang the hang of it eventually. I can fast travel now. Cool. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. Okay. We even launched a cup. So cool, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. Communications. We're on the right track. In a little bit. Please gonna look around a little bit more first. Can't go there, I don't have clearance. Messed up elevator. I'm good. God, she. Multimedia. 
Dead Letter Approval. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive catalog of the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail. will provide an extremely handy database that research students can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive allows to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranormal world. Letters come from come to us from various places and times gathered by the Postal Service as undelivered. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranormal sorry guys, events, but even the uh, erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, it will compile a system to allow us to analyze letters for any information or suspected connections to Oz and other altered materials. Thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. P. Barbell. Cool. Oh, cool. And research and records. This barrier. The his resonance field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. His barriers appear as ways from P. Escape or access to bureau personnel. Two methods can have been discovered for lowering them. Destroying the multitude con contracted resonance source found in the vicinity, destroying his entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density for, from another non-connected source of his resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will, fit, will fall. Does an inactive structure made of his resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinct distinction many Make any difference when considering the hiss? What does the very act of building the walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning to approach a file playing for full support? Not full support, full report. Goodness, can't speak. Machine God. What? And dream when I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone. A new god. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster, and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine, and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby, but a machine inside. Instead, God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dial plate on God. Okay. Mr. Governor, I called the police, but they came. They never came to my house. I got a problem, and you got to send folk to fix it. Got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish that sings when you hit a button, but it's got the devil in it. It flies around the house. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. This is a lot of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of the fish, and you got to come handle it. My wife is real upset. When can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. I love those singing fish. They're kind of cute. But I guess one that flies around at night, sings devil songs, and cusses at you isn't really fun. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Ugh. Really, you dickhead? Oh goody, you got your plans, you got your plans. Shove it, will ya? Come here, boys. Did you guys seriously have to, like, follow me? Was that really something you had to do? I mean, you could have just left me alone, you know, to chill. But no, you didn't do that. You had to follow me. Of course you did. Like, why not, right? You have nothing better to do. Hi! I was waiting for you. Can I have your glowy bits. You wanna come in, big man? Big man. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Ça va bien? Ça va très mal? Yes, 
What? Hi, honey. I'm home. Is fixed. Okay, I'm gonna go get some health back. Whoopsie. Okay. Now, was there anything else I am missing before I leave? Like this. Book Club Penny. Hello, avid readers. Bureau Book Bunch will convene at the usual spot in the corner table of the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by DJ Brooks. Everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Happy reading, Penny Bartwell. Cute. Seriously, that's like nice. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Hey, Meg, what's wrong? My mom's dead. I'm so sorry, Meg. What happened? I don't know. They blacked it out. <laughs> it's like the director says confidential and children. Please stop. Okay. Well, the creep show has continued, I see. More stuff. Dead presidents, to whom it may concern, I am being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. James, I'm not James Adams, John Adams, keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower. I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. I have a great, great dead man telling me about the past and the present. I'd like to use my abilities to help run the government. Please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. Cool, dude. Cool. Threshold kids missing mama. Okay. I'm missing anything. This way. Okay, let's go to communications then. Uh, 
That's sure a lot of blood. You know, one of these days, someone's gonna pop out. Cafeteria. I'd love to know what these things are. Weapons mods? Okay. What? Um... Really? You gotta appear behind me? You know, you could just not do it. I was looking at the red spooky wall. Oh yeah, there was that, um... Who's he what's it that I needed to look at? Federal Bureau of Control drafting any public based material when while pending it any notification of death related to the Willow, uh all please adhere to the following guidelines in the service of his or her country regret, pride, proud will be remembered. Phrases to avoid Alaska, scissors, blood, bleed, loss, apology, sorry. Okay. Object of power. Looks like the head splashed oh! onto it. We need to cleanse it. Buddy. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, it's the floppy disk. Floppy disk can, nuke can be bound to gain launch kinesis, telekinesis. Teach us to believe, director. It's Lord. hard to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Okay, press E to grab highlighted object, press E to release. Okay. 
That's cool. here, please. His noise is boring into our astral plane secret base. We must stop meeting them, Director. Achievement unlocked for a natural powerhouse. Lobby disc is now debt bound, delivered. The his antagonist is seeking our astral plane. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Looks like they're all dead. Not quite. Where are you? I'm going back down. I don't have clearance. taken care of. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Mm -hmm. 
Research. His ranger. The ranger are the Bureau's well-trained, well-armed exp expeditionary forces. Their, his corrupted counterparts are equally, equally formidable. Prior to corruption, rangers were trained to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat found during a uh, response or threshold exploration, including some machine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. His rangers utilize these weapons as well as the advanced tactics taught by Bureau instructors. Some are additionally outfitted with bureau made body armor. His rangers have no not observed paranatural abilities beyond some being protected by a shield shielding defense. Hi Darkness! It's going pretty good. How are you? Uh uh, bureau made body armor. His rangers have no have no observed supernatural abilities beyond some being protected by shielding of defense. His resonance capable of stopping bullets. Considering the advanced training his rangers are capable of applying to their situations, it is able to consider the human mind still remains intact to some degree. Or is the hiss able to tap into their combat training and utilize it further? Observation is required. For to file blank for full report. I'm glad you're peachy. Case files. Must can be contained in cell with no other loose material. The object is an 8 inch disket containing Soviet era nuclear launch codes. When bound, the object allows para utilitarians to, 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 kinetic, to telekinetically. Words. Jesus. Left material and throw it in a short distance. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.15. For more information, the object is currently bound to blank for research purposes. Stolen from a Soviet military base located in blank by agents blank and blank with the CIA, the disket contain launch codes to blank missiles to believed to be deserved to use against blank. After being returned to America, the disket began throwing con computational hardware at members of the decoding team. An informant in the CIA took the bureau off and was requested by agents the next day. Massey Willow uh, outcome. National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack in the Alaska town. You know, you all know I don't like to bo boast, but claiming that family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was historical genius. Using current and ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to blank. So another all uh, behind us and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strange campaign. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring blank and blank and blank for any off messaging opinions, but it's just, but it's like we're in the clear. It looks like we're in the clear. Tomasi out. Cool, dude. Boost damage. Throw. Ray of fire. Cool. Cafeteria. Someone gonna pop on down with me? You know, 
finding it rather annoying, right? You do know that, right? Like, your voice. My dear friend, it is a problem. Oh look, there's blood. I'm not follow the blood just yet. It looks fancy. There's more blood, of course there is. Cause, you know, why wouldn't there be blood? <gasps> Level 1 clearance! This must open the door. Let's claim this control point. Go into the big blood room in a second. Oh, it's nice and dark in here. I don't like it one bit. It's spooktastic. It's spookalicious. Let's put the weird wibbly wobbly in over here. No, you didn't tell me the story. and other phantasmagorical <laughs> phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy. Thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicion Con. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that Years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed, inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. It was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange, something you can't explain. Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. Remember, dear listeners, when no one else believes you, we do. We'll be right back. Oh, I'm sorry about what happened to your second monitor, but I'm glad you got a new one. Oh, 
good, good, gosh, good, gosh, good golly, mistletoe and frickin' holly. Moogly, frickin' moogly, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, he's done. We're not going up there yet. That doesn't seem good. I'll explore that in a second. But I didn't want that. Pay attention, Alberto. This is the last time I'm explaining this. Internal lockdowns are manually check your defense that lock one or all the se senators' sectors by restricting use of the sector elevator, effectively locking staff in their sector until the end emergency is handled. They can only be lifted via the directorial override and maintenance once the director is satisfied that the situation is under control. Eternal lockdowns are a bigger deal. Nothing in or out of the whole building is only triggered by a code red containment breach based on some complicated system the security and research lab together. It can only be lifted once A, the threat has been neutralized, and B, a high clearance individual gives system the all clear. This process is not the same as the directorial override, so stop saying it. So, in documentation, I know it's confusing as hell. I've told Darling a hundred times to change it, but we've but they're adamant and stays the way it is. Honestly, I don't think they even know how to change it at this point. Let's just make sure our staff understand how this mess all works. Okay, Marshall. I'm a little hesitant to walk over here. I'll wait until I clear out the area. And I'll come back, I promise. I thought there was a door here or something. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess we're going in here. Well, brace yourselves. I'll probably die again. Um, they can fly now. Great. Okay, I knew it. I knew it! I freaking knew it. Every time they introduce something new, I die multiple times before I figure it out. I'm glad I gave the warning in advance. Fly now. Great. Really, you bastard.
And I'm dead. Okay. I got too close. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, they're trying. Hi, buddy. They can fly now. Great. alive somehow Give me some Healy. You ass. Okay, well, I lasted a little longer. I know.
jerks. They can fly now. Great. I got stuck on a thing. You know, it just killed me. No thanks, buddy. You freaking dickhead! That was all of my health that I just got back! <sighs> okay, fine.
can fly now. Great. Barely alive. Okay, dude. I'm still alive somehow. Um, okay. I have a feeling he'll be back. I mean, yeah, I have a feeling too, Let's hon. Stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Okay. Hotline chamber. 
before I do anything else and get distracted again, I would like to go see that one thing that I said I would look at and I didn't. Over this way. Did y'all really have to pop in? Was that really a necessary thing? Hey, friend! Shite. missed and I missed. How about that? I'm just, I'm just dumb. It's okay. There we are. Cool. Can I look around now, please? Without having to do anything else. Anybody else? No? Fine. Good. His elevated. His elevated agents display abilities from their subtle and kinetic comp comp competent? Com whatever. Observed in Bureau Paranaturals. Para not Paranaturals. Parautilitarians. Oh, words are hard. Some preference. Some prefer to change their targets while others launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against the hiss spell elevated to each other. Own talent in the area, they do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural abilities. Some hiss elevated have been seen levitating while strapped in chairs. This is likely the result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording in parapsychology. How are they able to use paranatural abilities? It is, is it possible that these individuals are bound to objects of power prior to corruption? It's also worth considering that the His resonance can identify and express latent paranatural abilities in the individual it corrupts. Okay. Data breach. Last month on our on-site server experienced an intrusive Intrusion by unauthorized users after a thorough investigation was confirmed that the user only accessed a video file which contained portions of various Dr. Darling presentations. Investigators were able to track the user through their IP address. The following are the confirmed identities of these users. Patrick, Buda, Rubens. Da, 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 da. These individuals are in breach of Bureau Code 91 and have been placed under surveillance by our external investigation team. Further action is pending. Okay. You're listening to Okay. Interesting grammar. Internet usage rules in an ass <laughs> for social media. <laughs> oh. It's kind of funny. Okay, well that's that.
Okay. Do you guys think I can uh, make it over there and back again and uh, not die? opened it, and that's the good news. over here that I missed. Ah, so I can't get in there. Alive. I'm okay. I figured I'd check. touch anything. Hotline chamber. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. Strange collection. Achievement unlocked. Masi's ID. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. The hiss got him. Yeah, they did. Alright, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds an alternate item would show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? Okay then. Butte summary. A spat of disappearances was uh, traced to a home in the city of Butte where a bureau agent discovered a translocative light switch cord. Bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located blank blank, which had been connected to a total of blank disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside while searching a closet and agent pulled a light switch cord and discovered and not discovered, disappeared from view. The agent was selected to pull the cord and, or to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house 
Blank days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house, light switch cord and indeed Holmes' closet disappeared during this incident. Okay! Okay. Hotline cent not Hotline center can't chamber. Here we go. I mean, you say that now, and then we'll get there, and you'll be like, wow, it was really far away. Nice paintings. Hotline security log. 2018, 2019, Director Trance, Director Trance, Bill Everett, Custodian. Director Trance, Director Trance, Bill Everett, Director Trance, Director Trance, Bill Everett, Director Trance, Bill Everett. Carol Bishop. Interest interesting. Custodians and the director are only the people that take the calls, I guess. Okay. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Green Logic. The light switch cord. The door marked with the black pyramid. Anything else to say? No? I don't like that. Find the gap. Yeah. Figured I'd try and see what would happen. Interact with the control points since they fill your health. Okay, I'm here. I leave. Wrong direction, though. Whoopsie. Well, y'all shh. Are we really doing this again? Fuck off. Okay, buddy, shove it up yours. I'm a little irritated because you should go away. Anybody else want to pop up? Well, I'm trying to do something important. No? Good. Just because I'm irritated. <laughs> Notice Oceanville Motel, Lincoln Sino, entry point, catalyst, light switch, laws of three. a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road on the run under the radar this feels like all of them like something recognized from a dream okay then can't open that this is kind of creeping me the fuck out
Death and destruction, maybe? That might be here. Black Pyramid Key Hotel Casino. This freaks me out. That's an interesting use of that. That's cool. Seashell in a transmitter bridge. Directors can call the board long distance. Complete the astral plane challenge. You to collect with extra dimensional entities. Oh, that didn't explain anything, you fuckers. Extra-dimensional entities. Okay. Let's try this again. by accident. I forgot there was a gap there.
Okay, so what's going on here exactly? Well done, dial directory. You can contact us, past selves, and hotline. Like, we expect compulsive weekly calls. It is a phone. Okay. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions, to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Okay. Whew. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Okay then. We're back at the director's office. Huh. Level floor, f floor, level four clearance. Be creepy. Where is what's her bucket? That's not it. Level three clearance. Level one clearance. Hotline object is a 1980s, 1960s era black red bakelet telephone and rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob. On oh, no purpose, the phone weighs the object, the director to communicate with the blank. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal blank. The object is currently bound to director trench. The object spontaneously manifests in the director's office, placed on the desk. Director North Moore was the first known bureau agent to use it. Battery of tests were run on the object including blank and blank and its its origins remains unknown. Hotline. I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams, constantly ringing, ringing so loud I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. Why don't I pick up? 
it's a secure line of communication with the board, they would tell me what I need to know. Do I fear their answers? Would they have warned me of this threat? I didn't see it coming. A traitor in our midst. A conspiracy plotted right behind me. I can't trust anyone. I must assume all my intel has been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Bind it. Control it. The rule and the ritual with objects of power. It can't be tampered with. The lifeline to the astral plane and the board. I must seek guidance. Soon. I'll rest first. I'm so tired. Always tired now. But I must reach the hotline. I think I'm under attack. An attack of dementia. Exhaustion. It's a brain cloud making me forget. The hotline. I must reach the hotline. Okay. Management team. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. They have proven themselves. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. So I followed my own orders. North Moore hated my guts for that. But things change when you become director. You suddenly see this dark void for the horror show it truly is. Filled with screaming fear we pretend to control. Sand leaks through my fingers. The roses I pruned in the garden back when I still had a family. All dead. Heat escapes my body. My thoughts are scattered. The universe keeps expanding and I can't keep up with it alone. When I forget that, things go wrong. And my team has to pick up the pieces. Damage control. To help me get out of my mess. Okay. Ocean View Motel. The Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country, back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The ocean view operates on dream logic, and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places, and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation. Even bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel, the key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid. The rest, the many other doors, are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. Even the board. Sometimes I need to visit, just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. Okay, dude. Something's coming. The whisper's growing louder. The worst winter storm in Bureau history. A retribution for my sins. Our sins. This threat could destroy the Bureau. Everything I've built. Destroy me. A web spun, turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. 
elusive. It's clever. A perverse game of hide and seek. Is this part of an attack? Obfuscating the facts. Dimming my eyes. It's hard to tell. I need answers. I haven't heard back from Darling. I fear for my friend, my closest ally. I think we made a terrible mistake all those years ago. That thing he studies is putting us all in danger. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement for survival. Pain and suffering are mandatory. To change things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. I'm losing control. One more. Then research records. Power utility objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals power. Natural abilities we call these individuals power utilitarians. Potency of these abilities depends on the power. Utilitarian using the blank object of power as an example, some power utilitarians can achieve a throw distance of blank, while others are only capable of little as blank. What exactly determines the individual's paranatural com competence is unknown, but it is largely believed that some blank exists within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be ex exercised. To continue my analysis, I have officially requested <sighs> access to the accomplished peri-utilitarian spirit has ever seen. Dr. Darling is still considered considering this request. Okay. Anything else in here? Already been in that shelter. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss? I, sorry, you. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team, people who knew the bureau secrets. Your boss, darling, Tomasi, but he's gone. He's gone. Salvador. He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Okay. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. 
but I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. doesn't seem fun. Oh, well that looks great. Ability points received. Upgrade and unlock new ability points from the nearest control point. Okay. Before I do that, I want to talk to her. Hi, Jesse. Nothing new. Nothing new. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Hotline board countermeasures. We are at war, hostile takeover. This is the opposing force, foreign power. We will provide countermeasures strategy. Accept and adjust them at control points. These countermeasures missions will benefit you. We will give you resources, rewards for each completed countermeasure. Search for a way into the maintenance sector. The internal lockdown and emergency security measure is stopping Jesse from looking for trenches. Missing management team in the other sectors. Jesse sets out to enter the maintenance sector to find the director override and lift the internal lockdown. Okay. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where's it coming from? I don't hear singing. singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. A lot of these questions could be answered by obtaining a live specimen. Here? Well, we don't have the proper facilities. Maybe we can bring an observation from the containment center. I hear someone singing. I'll put in a request with Poe. Okay, what is this? Health, energy, melee, launch. Use three to unlock additional weapons, weapon form slots. Use 15 to unlock additional personal mod slot. Okay. I'd like more health, please. Like more energy. More energy. Melee. I would like this.
and I'll get more health next. Okay, weapons, forms, and mods, astral constructs. Shatter. Astral construction. No weapons form available. Countermeasures. Kill enemies with the service weapon in surge mode. You surge coil firecracker against. Are your enemies. Okay, I only have one outfit civilian currently. Okay, well there's someone in the elevator. Hope has asked us to document the incantation she calls it. You mean like in person? In person. She's trying to get us killed. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna end it here. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I had a lot of fun. If you want to see previous streams that I've done, go check out my YouTube channel. Link is in my bio. I hope you guys have a good day or night wherever you are, and I shall see you guys real soon. Bye!